Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 28, and this is war number three. We haven't been doing too well in our previous wars, but we're going up against an alliance called Saturados. All right, so we're going to take a look in here, see what uh, defenders they've placed in my path, and formulate a strategy. All right, so, wow. So I have no one to fight on that first section. So I'm gonna jump in there right after I make this video. Uh, this domino, someone's gonna bring a counter for her. Then we've got uh, Captain Marvel movie. Uh, if I bring Nick Fury, which I try to do all the time, uh, they may have me uh, do that fight. And since I didn't fight anyone on my uh, path in section one, my champ should be really good shape. Uh, they'll be all full, by the way. Uh, all right, so uh, that one can be uh, Nick Fury. Then we've got Phoenix. Uh, Claire can do it. Nick Fury can do it. This Nightcrawler, I hate fighting Nightcrawler, by the way. And that's actually a sneaky one. If you tried to, of course, it's broken. But if you tried to switch him by hitting into his block the way that we used to be able to do, well, that's explosive personality. You don't want to do that. So you can also bring someone who is um, has true strike or something like that, and you don't have to worry about it. Then it's a really easy fight. Then we've got Guardian up there. Uh, Warlock can do that fight. So I might end up taking that fight uh, with Warlock. Um, then we've got the uh, mini boss Island. Uh, Sasquatch down there, someone with Torch usually takes that one out uh, when we see Sasquatch there. Uh, sometimes we see Man-Thing, Torch again. Uh, Terax and uh, Spider-Ham. Uh, someone generally brings counters for all three of those, and they just boost and clear that, usually the backup. Uh, they wait to see if they're needed anywhere else. And if we get all the way here, no backup needed. They just bring counters and clear it out. Uh, then we've got an invisible woman who can be tricky uh, on that node, especially. Then we've got Mr. Negative and Mangog. Now, uh, if I'm asked to do that fight there with uh, invisible woman, I'll probably do it with Claire because that's a rage node and Claire can handle the uh, Furies and it can be a little tricky, but it's doable. Uh, Mr. Negative, I hate his reverse controls, but uh, Nick Fury can do that fight. I'll just block if I have to do it. Block his uh, specials. Don't try to evade because I will mess myself up. Mangog, we need somebody that has some uh, uh, power control or uh, maybe Human Torch uh, to do that fight. If necessary, we can get him down uh, with Warlock or uh, Nick Fury. But preferably, uh, better counters will be someone that can control the power uh, or can tank special threes. You know, boost up with an invulnerability and just go to town. So uh, that's it for the scouting. And like I said, I'm going to go right back in and at least make my moves, use up my energy and then wait until section two is open. I might open it, depends on when that domino goes down and how much energy I have uh, at that time. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I'm going in with my standard attackers, Nick Fury, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Warlock. And as we saw before, I didn't have any fighting to do on my path uh, in path three, uh, section one. So, uh, I just basically moved on to wait for that domino to come down. So this is going to be a shorter war video than usual because I didn't have that many fights and I don't have anyone, uh, that sent me any of their fights to include in the video. So, uh, this is just my fights. All right. So section two, uh, is opened up and we do have a couple of fights here all right so uh first fight is against phoenix she is very easy to defeat 
uh on that node uh really i'm trying to think of a node where she would actually be problematic but i can't think of any but then again i don't usually do the defense and i don't know all of the nodes uh in war uh but in on this node ideally you want someone that has an armor up gains armor ups because uh, it forces your opponent to have to deal with that either they're bleed immune or they can nullify or like claire you're both can nullify and you can become bleed immune at will so with claire not a problem on this node now i always worry about that when she triggers her uh signature ability there to prevent her death she tends to get really aggressive and she'll be attacking into you before you finish your combo or your move you know if you fired a special like that i was expecting her to be attacking me all while i was firing the special so that as soon as the special ends and before i could recover she'd hit me all right so next up we've got nightcrawler i do not like fighting nightcrawler uh we go way way back nightcrawler i feel is broken and kabam is leaving him broken because as a broken champion he's more of a defender so what i mean by broken is you're supposed to be able to switch him and we used to be able to by hitting into his block you know you get him to dash back and then you just kind of slow your attack so that he's holding his block and eventually he switches over what happens now is you could be hitting into the block and right in the middle of hitting into his block it just disappears and that happens even when you're playing and you know you did not let up off the block that is a bug that they have not fixed and it doesn't look like they will ever fix okay uh it came after uh the so-called uh nightcrawler trick where you could throw a light attack it caused him to sit there and hold block which did it for everyone but for him it made him uh easy to switch and in addressing that ai issue they left the broken nightcrawler there because they never fixed the underlying issues but with that it became easy to switch him so nobody really cared about the other but once they address that issue we're left with him in this broken state. Now we have lots of um, counters where he's not gonna evade. So it's not that big of a deal anymore, but still don't like fighting him. Anyway, that is all of the fighting that I did for this war. So uh, we'll be back after a brief intermission and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. We were fortunate to win this war. I believe we still had someone who forgot to place their defense uh, in this war. But we won, and I believe this is the first war that we've won. Uh, we still have some work to do. Uh, the Alliance recently got a large number of new uh, players in, and we're still working through uh some kinks in our merger but that's gonna do it guys thank you all for watching the video i'm happy that we won uh but take care and leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video it wasn't that many fights so i'm sorry wait for the next war take care and i'm so behind in these wars anyway take care and you all have a blessed day